All right, Aquarius, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is going to be for the 28th of December through the 3rd of January. My name is Athen, and this is for Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to this type of astrology, do check the description down below because the signs are different. All right, Aquarius, so not a whole lot going on astrologically this week, but uh, one aspect is quite important, and that's going to be Mercury squaring up to uh, Mars this week. Uh, Mercury's slowing down. He's going to go retrograde next week, which is really dragging out this uh, square up to Mars. So, you know, collectively, this is a bit of a touchy, uh, sometimes ir irritable sort of energy, specifically maybe with the daily stuff or the communications here, because you've got Mars on one hand, which is everything we want, everything we're driven to achieve, you know, our own ego drives, uh, squaring up to, you know, the social, communicative, more interactive aspects of life. So that's the collective energies. Of course, it does depend on our personal charts more so. And uh, for you Aquarians, though, it is involving two specific houses and rulerships, which I'll talk about. But um, the houses are your ninth house, which is where you've had, uh, excuse me, your 11th house, which is where you've had Mercury. And so there is this uh, maybe more thinking about and focused on the group stuff or collective things um, lately of that 11th house. Maybe your ideals have been heightened with your son here as well. So bringing extra attention to anything involving an organization, group, things like that. But this this aspect can be very constructive. You know, I really want to emphasize that because it's involving a square up to Mars, which actually can be that we get a, quite a lot of done, uh, whether it's productive or otherwise, or just accomplish quite a bit, but only through that patient attitude of the square and hard work attitude too. So uh, could be good for that, again, with that extra tension in those areas. Uh, now, Mars is in your eighth house, so I think you guys have been perhaps more motivated um, and it's been your life path for the past two years to really uh, focus on the deeper truth about life. And with Mars, maybe getting deeper in general, maybe with yourself, more motivated to do so, maybe quite direct, quite assertive in that regards. So extra tension in terms of everything deeper. You know, this is the house of transformation, the house of healing. So it could be a week of that, but uh, that extra tension can really go a long ways. Now, in terms of rulers, Mercury rules both that eighth house, but also your fifth house. So I think uh, extra attention on your self-expression this week and anything that maybe you're creating or enjoying or your interests uh, with that fifth house. Now Mars rules both your 10th and your third. So bringing extra attention to communications this week and correspondence, which is really the case anyways with a slowing down Mercury, uh, but also your career, right? Some grounded energy with that. Now in terms of the career stuff, that's shifting this week. You've got Venus going into that 10th house of yours to soon join up with Saturn. So it's been on a bigger picture, a focus, I think, with you guys in terms of what your long-term plans are with maybe career or your legacy and stuff like that. But now Venus comes in here to uh, lighten things up a little bit. This is where we can, I think, enjoy the career big picture stuff uh, with Venus in the 10th and also maybe meet people at work or with, you know, in the uh, career field or what have you. Maybe the relationships are at their peak in a sense too because Venus is at the top of the chart. And uh, that's a good way of uh, working with is really enjoying um, anything on that level, whether it's interrelationship or not. And in that way, uh, it does assist this longer term energy of Saturn. So that's going to be a shift of the week. And uh, one thing too is this earlier part, which helps mitigate some of this Mercury squaring up to Mars energy, is that the Sun is sextiling up to Neptune. So with that 11th house with groups and organizations, while it is again, requiring that extra attention. There's also an easiness about it. Uh, this has been a Neptune in your first house, and I think this early part of the week could be good for that flow, for that guidance of not needing to know exactly who you are, or what your goals are, and all of that can come quite easy, and again, could create an easygoing energy for anything that you're focused on right now involving friends, groups, collective things at the moment. So I also wanna bring your attention to the lunar cycle because uh, the moon's aspects will tend to uh, create more of an energy throughout the rest of the week uh, since we don't have any major aspects. So uh, the lunar cycle, you know, this whole past few weeks has been in regards to your career stuff. You had a new moon in that 10th house. So this is both in the short term and the long term, but a great week since we're in the third quarter phase of it to again, work hard and really ground anything that you're involved with on that bigger or possibly career level. Now, uh, what can really assist with this is that full moon we just had last Friday on Christmas involving your fifth house of self-expression and creativity. Maybe some insights came to you about that particular area of life. So uh, implementing that can be good as well. All right, Aquarius, so have a great week. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, please let me know, and I'll see you guys all next time.